Hey everybody, Nick Moldock of Troubadour Films. You are watching a Troubadour tutorial. Today we are going to be kicking off the series with a Colorista Sin City effect. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and a subscribe. I'll see you at the end. All right, everybody. So we are currently in Adobe Premiere 2020. That's just the version that I am working with. And in order to do this effect, we are going to need Colorista. Uh, this is the current version that I am working with. This works with any version. Um, I have three on my uh, MacBook. Now what Colorista is, is just an incredible um, color editor. You know, it does a little bit more than Lumetri Color will do for you. Um, but one of the things that we are going to be working with is right here. We are going to be working with this hue and saturation wheel. Um, it is very simple to delete colors from your image with this. Now that is something that we did in order to create the black and white effect for damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, implementing random little red things throughout it in order to create the narrative that we wanted. Now, as you can see, I completely deleted all of the color. So what we are going to do is just as simple as this, and I wore my Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James shirt for this reason, is we can bring out only the red colors from this image. We can make it as vibrant as we want. We can make it as non-vibrant as we want. Hell, we can even go ahead and change the colors of the shirt. I just find this tool right here just alone an extremely, extremely intuitive and easy thing to use in order to be able to kind of control your colors throughout a scene. Um, but as you can see, we currently have red shirt only. Now you can see it will uh, do a little bit of the lips over here. Uh, that can be easily uh, done by just masking out the shirt, but I just wanted to show you guys right here that you can easily create the uh, effect of a Sin City type shot by removing the colors from your scene. Hey everybody, so it's actually the next day after I recorded that first video, but I just wanted to take a chance to say thank you so much for watching this video and please just drop a like, subscribe, uh, video tutorials and stuff like that when it comes to editing, when it comes to the films that Lou and I do for Troubadour Films is definitely something that we want to get into more on this channel as well as testing out equipment and showing off some things that it can do. Currently right now I am recording this with the Fayou Pocket Cam. It shoots in 4K. I don't necessarily know if it's going to be a permanent thing for me. I plan on doing a more extensive test with it by going to the metro parks or something like that and shooting with it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this. I really hope that this helped. Uh, it's such a cool effect when it comes to Colorista. I definitely would recommend it, and stay tuned for more tutorials.